We have a new keyboard that I am reviewing. Once again, this video is sponsored by First Player Technology. They keep on improving their products. They keep on releasing greatness. And man, I am excited to uh, reveal or uh, talk about this keyboard right here. It's the first player, oh let me see, out of focus, it's the first player mechanical keyboard MK5 retro typewriter style. So when the retro uh, mechanical keyboard started hitting the market, what I mean by retro, well, it's like those old typewriters, you know, that had the circle key caps or whatever they're called back there, and the keys were impressed, you click, 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 click. Um, when they came out with that design, I can't remember what company, I contacted uh, the representative of first play and I said man you guys have to do this as well so finally they came out and they got it done so I have to say bravo bravo to first player they are moving in in the right direction like I said guys this company it's doing fantastic so anyway guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a closer look at the keyboard so bear with me Alright guys, well the keyboard does come with a software easy to use, uh, right here uh, you can select uh, profiles, you can save up different profiles here, uh, also you can um, do your own macros, I do not recommend this for PUBG or some other games, but if you're a macro pro then uh, you can uh, do that. Uh, right here uh, on this side of the software we can see all of the lighting effects which you can also change manually on the keyboard if you press fn delete or fn insert on the, the keyboard so here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten different effects if you click on each individual key you can then do key assignment as you can see that right there or you can go uh, micro, you know, for your recorded micro keys. As an example, if you want to drop shot in Call of Duty, then you can record your micro uh, drop shot and then, um, you know, do your thing. Or media, let's see here, media, media player, volume up, volume down. You can select each single key to do one thing. So that it's pretty damn cool all right guys full on details and specifications is going to be down below in the description if you're watching this video it's probably because you are thinking of buying it so is it worth it obviously since this video it's sponsored i should say yes it is worth it right i mean it, it makes sense but there's some things that i don't like about the keyboard 
such as there's still no dedicated media keys. Play, pause, rewind, forward, stuff like that, mute. Uh, we still don't have it right here. Uh, so I wish that first player step it up and do it. Also, I would have liked to see the ring, kind of like metal ring around the keys. That would have made it look way better. Also, I would have liked to see a uh, wrist pad. Like, well, not something like this, but you get the point. Something like a wrist rest to put my hand in there. Because if you don't have one, then you're going to be in pain. You're, you're going to have to buy one of these things, which I use this thing right here for gaming. And I also use this one. But besides the point, I would have liked to see a risk rest on the keyboard. Now, guys, those are the only cons that I find. Other than that, it feels amazing to game with this keyboard. My favorite games, Call of Duty, Battlefield 1, uh, Player Unknown, Battleground, and uh, some other games that I play. I only show a few in here because I don't want to make this video too long. I do like the fact that these keys are CIY. You can replace the switch. Now these right here guys, these are the red switch right here. CIY like I said. You can uh, remove those just in case one of these fail. Uh, you can replace it with no problem and very easy to do it. Like I said guys, they offer the red switch and the blue switch. And I wanted to get the blue switch because I am thinking of playing with this keyboard for a little longer. I really enjoy the feel of the round uh, keycaps, the retro uh, look, typewriter. They feel amazing uh, typing uh, messages or whatever you do with the keyboard. It's also fantastic. It feels great. Uh, the keyboard is made with AVS material, right? It's also waterproof. Yep, we said it right. It's also waterproof and dust proof. Another feature that I like of the keyboard guys is that you can dust it off very, very freaking easy and clean it up with ease. Uh, the trouble distance of the keycaps, uh, I, I wish they were a little uh, shorter than that, but I guess it's not too bad, but there is a little bit of distance. The resistance of it, uh, it's not too bad. What I do like of the keyboard, guys, is very easy to clean. The keycaps are elevated from the chassis or the base, whatever you want to call it, of the keyboard. And it's freaking awesome. So those are the cons. I do not like the fact that we still don't have uh, media keys, dedicated media keys. We still have to use the FN uh, key to... Uh, control the volume and whatnot but i use a mixer i use a mixer so it that doesn't really matter but i do i would have liked to seen a play pause and rewind or stop uh we've been uh, asking first player to do that but still but they still haven't done it so i am calling you guys out right on the spot make a keyboard with dedicated media keys and another con yes another con uh they did not release a white version which I would have loved to see a white version of this keyboard. All right, guys, this was your host, Sergio with Takeover Clocked. This keyboard is amazing, feels amazing. I think this is one of their best keyboards so far. The RGB effects, everything, the keyboard is fantastic. I love it, the brightness, functionality, ergonomic design, freaking awesome. Takeover Clock, Sergio here, signing out. Bye-bye.